What is going on you guys? I am playing a free new game that I have never played before. I played part one of Borderlands, but now I want to see if part two is good. Hope you guys enjoy. See you then. I ask the questions. Okay, then. You mind asking yourself who you are? Pretty smart. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Tell me about the Gordas project. Is that what this is about? Look, Gordas is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on Eden. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be a smart ass. You mean it? I'm gonna shoot my penis off. So just start talking. Just where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and, uh... From the beginning. Right. Right. Right, 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 I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. Oh my. And Handsome Jack, he was the baddest guy of them all. This long. It must feel good I to finally be grab just it, like him. Take it. It's yours, right? I mean, you always said that. <laughs> Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but, uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. <laughs> Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It took some time to fit in. But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives. For the better. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're gonna buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. If you're getting a fraction of what he earns, you'll be rolling in it. Being an exec in Hyperion comes with expectations. Wow, he laid me it's not about money, real. Vaughn. It's about the respect that gets you. Hey, you know who talks like that? Poor people that no one likes. Respect. It's nice, you know, but it's not nicer than a summer home on Eden 7. Vaughn, get your priorities straight. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep, sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mind deal we put together. Thanks for the help, Vaughn. Really. I couldn't have done this without you and a vet. Hey, man, don't sweat it. Uh, I'm just happy we even got you here. You know, I crunched the numbers one night and figured out there was a 45% chance someone would kill you before this day. Glad that didn't happen. Me too. It was a uh, real touch and go there for a bit. <laughs> what the hell? All right, man. Let's get that Hyperion face Fuck on. you, Vaughn. Right. Oh, shit. We need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. <laughs> what the hell? <clears throat> Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a sec. Oh, God. Is that Crunk? Oh, I wasn't talking. That yes, is Crunk. I'm talking to you now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red. I want it in black. Because black is better. Look, don't concern yourself with why. Okay, Jerry. Concern yourself with how. And just send the car over when it's ready. Company car. Uh, didn't even have to. That is Krunk from Emperor's Groove. Holy crap! You look surprised to see me, Reese. And if I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy. This all came together quick. 
so you might not have been in the loop, but it's for the better, at least for me. So where's Henderson? He, uh, stepped out. You're going to be reporting to me next. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Cause I... But this is about more than that. It's about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? For the exact same reason why North is North. Why the handsome guy always gets the girl. And why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. It's destiny, right? And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And you can hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul, your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. You don't want to be that man. Wow, yo, listen to that shit. Wow, I could not have timed that better. That really helped dramatically make my point. <laughs> Fuck you, you guys. Which is this. This promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny. And put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh, Are you buying this vault key, or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I... Yes, I'm near a computer. Ten million. Yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. Uh. Yeah, 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 no, but forget that I'm rotating a computer. Fuck you! Get out of the way, you dick! Why do the biggest scumbags always have the best view? Yeah, that's what we, we had to do. sucking up to the guy. Out the window. Damn. Alright. Unless... vasquez -y. Look at him again? Fucking weirdo. Uh, look, look, look. Are you going... Why are you turning this into a whole thing right now? What the hell? Why do I keep looking at this kid? Fuck yeah, let's do this. Yeah, download that shit. Just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. Sure. 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 Okay. Say hi to your mom. Damn it. Ah, all right. Now, what were we talking about? Before we were so rudely interrupted. 
We were talking... <clears throat> we were talking about my promotion. All right, your uh, promotion. Henderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Humility. But you, I respect you, Reese. That's why I'm going to make you assistant vice janitor. What, what the? F no, no, you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. You can't humiliate me. I quit. Careful now. The only way you quit Hyperion is the way Henderson did. You're dismissed, Reese. <laughs> I'll let you know when I need my trash can empty. Fuck you! What the hell was that? He can't do this to us! He just did. No. No, no, this can't be happening. I'm finished, Mom. I'm finished. You know who this place is. There's blood in the water, and everyone can smell it! No, 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 they can't. Not yet, unless you don't quiet down. We just gotta keep it on the down low until we figure something out. Senior Vice Janitor Reese to Sector D4. Trash cleanup, because that is your job now to clean up trash with your bare hands. Sorry, you were saying something. I interrupted you. Reese, <laughs> why are you cleaning up trash? <laughs> I thought you were getting a promotion. Trash duty seems like the opposite of a promotion. Henderson's dead. What? Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, you can ask him yourself. He's floating outside in space. It's that prick Vasquez. <sighs> He threw Henderson out of an airlock and demoted Reese to Trash Man. Holy crap. So, does that mean you're not buying? Well, just try and lighten the mood. And I didn't bring my wallet, so if someone pays for me... I'll tell you who's gonna pay. Vasquez. I don't know if he's the type to... can't let that prick get away with this. We need to do something. He just killed a guy. Maybe it's better we lay low for a bit. What? No way. We hit back. We steal his deal. We steal his deal. Yeah. Yes! That is what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? Vasquez set up a deal on Pandora for a vault key. Whoa. That must be why he got the promotion. The only thing Hyperion cares about more than money is his vault keys. It's perfect! I mean, Boom. not only do we screw over Asquez, we have a freaking vault key. What are they worth? Like a billion dollars? More. Yeah, but we need ten million dollars right now to make the deal. Hold, please. Done. I'm not gonna lie. That was impressive. I'm in accounting, and it's, it's what I do. Ten million bucks is chump change around here. By the time anyone notices, we'll have a vault key. Cool. Well, looks like you boys got it all figured out. I'm gonna you're go eat. Nah, no, you're coming with us. Call me if you don't get killed. Whoa, 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 right? hey, hey, we need your help. We need clearance, transportation, right? Positions master. We need that stuff. Yeah, maybe a loader bot or two. When things get dicey. Look, it's one thing stealing from a bunch of poor suckers on Pandora. You're talking about stealing from Hyperion. But we're friends. Friends help each other steal stuff. I mean, that's how it works. Richter used to steal candy bars. His family still doesn't know where the body is. Richter was an asshole, and his family are assholes. Come on, I'll buy you the lunch I owe you when we get back. Huh? Fine. But you're buying me lunch now, and when you get back. <laughs> Done. We only got a couple of hours. Sounds good. Go withdraw the cash. I'll get you guys clearance to Pandora, get you geared up, and issue you a standard Hyperion town car. What? Boom. Standard? Really? You can't spring for premium? Seat warmers, maybe a Billy. convertible or something? Sure, yeah, a convertible. So, just so I got this straight, 
You want me to get you a car to drive around Pandora that leaves you less protected, right? Look, it just you're gonna steal something. I figure. No. Shut up, nerd. No, don't worry. I've got a car in mind. Yeah, my dude, my dude.